This is when the narcissist comes back. The narcissist may have discarded you and acted as though they were moving on to something better or greater. They wanted you to think that they were so much happier without you. As though you were the cause of the problem. And now that problem is no longer a part of their lives. And although narcissists are good at planning and coordinating the element of a situation to produce the desired effect, sometimes they really do believe that they're onto something. They really do believe that they've struck gold. Only to later discover that they were sold a dream. After they had sold that same dream to you. Narcissists are very gullible. They are easily persuaded to believe something. It is actually very easy to manipulate a narcissist in the love bombing phase. They will believe whatever you tell them. They are more willing to trust a stranger over their own family. So whatever you display to them, they will believe to be true. It is very easy for someone to deceive a narcissist. It is very easy to give them a mistaken impression. To make them believe there's something that they're not. Because the narcissist wants to believe that they finally found their perfect supply. That's all the narcissist ever wanted. Someone they can use to meet their own needs. Someone they can use to hurt you. That's all the narcissist is thinking about when they target a new source. But they didn't expect that source to do the same thing to them. They didn't expect the source to be lying to them, cheating on them. Using them for their own selfish needs. Using them to hurt someone else. They didn't expect their new source to be doing any of that. Because maybe the new source sold them a dream. They made them believe something that wasn't true. They made them believe there was something they're not. And the narcissist was eating it with a spoon. They were loving every moment of it. Without ever suspecting that maybe they were being taken advantage of. When the narcissist finally realizes that the new source was deceiving them, naturally, they will be very angry.
they won't want anything to do with that new source anymore. They know there's no future in something that started out as a lie. They know that they cannot trust the new source. And now they also want to get revenge. They want to get back at the new source. And the easiest way for them to do this is to come back to you. But it's not because they love you. It's not because they care about you. They're just going to use you to get back at the new source. Maybe they lied to the narcissist. Maybe they cheated on them. Now the narcissist is really mad. They want to get revenge. And they just see you as a tool that they can use to do that. Narcissus thought the grass was greener on the other side. But they do sometimes get tricked by other sources that may be narcissistic. Narcissus can be very vulnerable when they discard you. When they look for other sources of supply, they can be very gullible and anyone can manipulate them. Anyone can sell them a dream. Anyone can lie to them or cheat on them and just give them a taste of their own medicine. That is when they will come running back to you. That is when they will try to use you to get back at whoever hurt them. You cannot entertain the revenge hoover. You cannot let them back in because they're just going to do the same thing all over again. Only this time, it's going to be worse. They're not going to love or respect you or anyone. They're just going to use you as a puppet to punish someone else. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.
click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join our support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.